Saul. Yep. He's in the book of First Samuel mm-hmm. in the Old Testament. Not to be confused with Saul who became Paul in the New Testament. That's right. That's right. And Saul is also the son of Kish. Mm-hmm. And he became the first king of the Israelite people. Yeah, and the Bible describes him as the most handsome man in all wow. of Israel. Wow. Yeah, but uh, God says not to judge someone by outer appearances. Yeah, uh, we can agree on that one. Yeah. But how did it all begin? Well, it starts when the Israelite people realize that uh, Samuel is getting too old. Mm. And they want a king. Yeah. Well, Samuel is disappointed about that, and yeah. he uh, talks with God and who agrees to give them what they want. Mm-hmm. However, well, Samuel warns the people of the dangers of having a king, but they don't care. They still want a king. Yeah. So one day, Saul, right? We know about yeah. Saul. He's from a wealthy and influential family. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the tribe of Benjamin, yep, Israelite tribe, mm-hmm. uh, Hebrew tribe, goes out with his servant, yep, uh, looking for his father's donkeys uh, that have gone astray. Yes, yes, and they uh, travel into the uh, hill country of Ephraim and end up in a small town to ask for help from a seer. A seer? Yep. Isn't that like a psychic? That can't be good. Well, it's not the same. Back then, prophets or men of co- men of God were referred to as seers. So the first mm. person they ask when they get into the town just happens to be Samuel. And of course, Samuel already knows who Saul is. He's a seer. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. So Samuel anoints Saul and uh, the spirit of, of God comes upon him. Yeah, so yeah. he's anointed as king. Yeah. And uh, so he's officially Israel's first king. Yes. And he also succeeds in his first military campaign. That's correct, yes. But something is wrong. Yeah, we know that. The Bible tells us his, his actions change, and there's a total disobedience yep. of Saul toward yep. God yeah. on more than one occasion. Yeah, yeah. And then... God's spirit leaves him. Oh, no. What does that mean for Saul? Yeah, good question. And why are innocent people dying? So now that God's spirit is gone, how will that affect Saul's role as king? I don't know. And what will happen to the Israelite people? Real people, real events. Check it out.